Yo, back with another Patreon reaction to someone I've never heard before. Roll it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Adiano The Third. Y'all guys are The Third Fam. If you're new here and you're not subscribed and you like what you see at the end of the video, consider becoming part of the family, clicking subscribe, bottom right hand corner. Now this request right here is mad old. This guy like, it, it might have been like one of the first few months when I asked for requests and when I started falling behind. Now, like I said at the beginning, I've never even heard of this dude or the dude on the feature actually, but we got Adult Swim. A lot of people have been telling me to react to it, but I know that this is part of the Patreon reactions as well. Just John Bellion, Bellion, one of those. And because I haven't heard of either one of these guys, I have no idea what to expect. Just like the last video, falling in reverse. <laughs> I was not expecting what I heard there. So hopefully this leaves me with the same amount of hype. But there's really only one way to find out. Follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter at the third earnest. Just like the channel, links down in the description below. And we got Adult Swim. Let's get it. Tuami has developed a new hyperbolic time chamber. Tuami, Tuami. All right, now I know how to say it. Tuami has developed a new hyperbolic time chamber. Here on Namek, we'll be focusing on the mental. Training starts now. Begin. Ooh, I've just been fanning myself. I'm such a fan of myself. Oh, 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 before we get started, the beat though, that like lo-fi chill music to listen and study to, 24-hour live type beat. I love lo-fi type beats. They're so chill and it allows your voice and it allows your lyricism to shine because they're not all aggressive in your face. But he said, I've been a fan of mine. I'm fanning myself and I'm a fan of myself because I'm on fucking fire. Go. Fan of myself. I'm such a fan of myself. Mm. There's levels to the cool like a fan on the shelf. When you blow, they try to gas you like fans at the shelf station. God hands me a full plate, but I can't. Hold on. All right. My mind was not prepared for bars. But is he a rapper? Because these are like, these are rapper bars right here. I don't even know what this dude's music is now. Such a fan of myself. There's levels to the cool like a fan on the shelf. When you blow, they try to gas you like fans at the shell station. God hands me a full plate, but... Yo, he said, he said, he said there's levels to this cool, like fans on a shelf, like, like blowing fans on a shelf. There's different levels, levels of shelves. And then he said, when you blow, they try to gas you up. Like, like they try to like feed the hype when you blow up and when you become successful, like fans at a shell, like literally fans, like his fans at a shell, but blow like fans at a shell station, shell stations in the United States our gas stations. This is this might be a long ass video with bars like this right out the gate. When you blow, they try to gas you like fans at the shell station. God hands me a full plate, but I handle it well. If they don't feel your thoughts, start dreaming in braille. Uh, They'll try to sell you short because their dreams are for sale. They'll, s They'll try to sell you short because their dreams are for sale. He said, if they don't feel your thoughts, start dreaming in braille. A fucking bar, son. If they don't, if they don't fuck with your vibe, if they don't feel your thoughts, because your thoughts turn into artwork. If they don't feel your artwork, then you start dreaming in braille, because you literally feel braille, and then they can actually see your thoughts with the with what they're reading. What the fuck? You know, we got some bars. Start dreaming in braille. They'll try to sell you short, cause their dreams are for sale. They'll say, get off your podium. Life isn't Nickelodeon. Aren't you so dumb, Keenan and Kel? Wow, the government leaves. I almost fucking got up because that he said, aren't you so dumb like Keenan and Kel? Like, aren't you? But also orange you like they like he fit. He made it sound like orange and he said Nickelodeon. But like Keenan and Kel, who loves orange soda? Kel loves orange soda. Aren't you dumb like Keenan and Kel? <laughs> Yo. Is it Nickelodeon? Aren't you so dumb? Keenan and Kel. Wow. The government leaves an animal trail. So I switched to Swiss chard, carrots and kale. So I'll remember my kid's name. Dementia is a sick game. I'm silencing the lamb. Call me Hannibal Failed. Yeah, financial. <laughs> There's gonna be way too much fucking pausing. The video's about to be 40 minutes. He said I switched to a vegetarian type diet so that way I could remember my kid's name. Cause he's saying dementia's a bitch. And then like, he's, I guess he's alluding to the fact that they pump animals with like chemicals to make them as big as possible so that way we have food to consume. But we don't know if those chemicals actually cause dementia. Like we don't know the long-term effects. So he switched to vegetarian from eating meat. And he said, silence the lambs, like silence of the lambs, like Hannibal Lecter. 
Dissent game, I'm silencing the lamb, call me Hannibal Failed. Yeah, financial plan should be handled in stealth. I fight to lead the private life for my family's health. Hey. Got some dinner with art collectors, they started drinking Prosecco and they slipped about their level of family wealth. A bunch of actresses downplay how my records are felt. That's Yo, see, now, he, now he's not spitting no fucking bars right here because the wordplay at the beginning is fucking nuts, but he's definitely spitting that real shit. He's giving you game for 99 cents right now. He said financial plans should be handled in stealth. Like you shouldn't let n anybody know about how much money you have or don't have. Cause when you flex your money, that makes you a fucking target. About they level the family wealth. A bunch of actresses downplay how my records are felt. It's not a mystery to decode a fanning yourself. This man's on fire. I can't pretend I'm not. Dakota fanning yourself. Actresses, these actresses downplay my music. Dakota Fanning's an actress. Out of mystery to decode a fanning yourself. This man's on fire. I can't pretend I'm not talented. For me to fake humble. I paused it too soon. And I think I paused it too soon right there because that sounded like a bar was coming up. But he said, Dakota Fanning, I'm like a man on fire. Dakota Fanning, Man on Fire is a movie. We're still talking about actors and actresses. This dude, man. This man's on fire. I can't pretend I'm not talented. For me to fake humble's a corny way to be arrogant. Drug dealer still on the corner of Madison. It's For me to fake humbling to fake humbleness that's just a corny way to be arrogant like yeah either be humble or fucking stunt don't try to pretend like you're not someone who's it's in your character it's in your nature to stunt but then you're faking humbleness like bitch we all know that you know that you've blown up so if you're not the type of person that's humble then just fucking stunt like who cares but don't throw all these smoke and mirrors at us trying to pretend like you're humble when we know you're fucking not why do i have the ringer on on my phone fake humble is a corny way to be arrogant that's a dope fucking line I can't pretend I'm not talented For me to fake humble's a corny way to be arrogant Drug dealers still on the corner of Madison Except they push products and red bottoms to Madison's mm. Red bottoms for baboons and radishes I went to Mozambique and saw a real kind Red bottoms for bad boobs and radishes and radishes Because radishes have their red bottom underneath the plant And obviously baboons have baboons Is it baboons? And baboons have red bottoms He's obviously talking about Louis Vuittons Because Louis Vuittons are red bottoms For baboons and radishes I went to Mozambique and saw a real kind of happiness So I don't feel guilty when Nike sends me some packages hey. We still end up in boxes even though we chase packaging mm. We still end up in boxes even though we chase packaging like we end up in pine boxes, we end up in coffins, we're all gonna die one day and we're chasing the packaging, we're chasing all of the, we're chasing material goods when they don't really mean anything in the long run. But I'm not gonna fucking not take a package from Nike. That was some of the illest one minute and 27 seconds of just chill fucking rap I've ever heard. We still end up in boxes even though we chase packaging. Mm. Mm. Oh, this, oh, oh, this. oh, 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 we're on the radio and we're gonna switch up different beats like it's the fucking Five Fingers of Death on Sway in the Morning. All right, let's see what we got because if the beat gets more aggressive, then to show your style, you gotta match the beat. Mm. Take this, take this. Swami supply the facelift. Uh. Take this, take this. Swami supply the facelift. I can't. Mm, that beat is fucking hard. Uh. Take this, take this. Want me supply the facelift I can't fall off, I got a great grip ah. Go and find some talent, have a great trip ah. This billion guys this, power level is this. amazing uh. Swami supply the facelift. Prepare to mm. fight. My stance here is a band leader, is Pangea. My heart's free, yo, I'm cold heated, they Cambria. Hold up, hold up. My brain can't decipher that fucking rhyme scheme. My stance here is a band leader, is Pangea. My heart's free, yo, I'm cold heated, they Cambria. <laughs> I rock steady, my Johnson's Dwayne Heavy. We just erase heroes, I stand. Liga Remini, heat the king of queens, my balls breed. LeBron's king. My Johnson's Dwayne Heavy, Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. The Rock is big. He's fucking got a lot of weight on him. But that's not it. That's not only the only bar. He said, my heart frío, which is cold in Spanish. He said, my heart frío. I'm cold, heater, than Cambria. But like cold heater is the wordplay. But whenever you put those two together, the homophone is coheed and Cambria, which is a rock group. I'm cold, heater, than Cambria. Yo. He said, we just erase heroes. I'll stand Leah Remini. He the king of queens. Yo, that's like two bars and three bars in a line. Stan Lee is the dude who created obviously Marvel and the Avengers and basically every Marvel character. 
he drew them all because that's what it was back then. Graphic comics, graphic novels. So you could literally erase heroes. And then Rimini, that he's the king of queens. Like Leah Rimini, I think that's her last name pronounced. She was on the show King of Queens, but I'll stand Leah is like a homophone for Leah. L-E-A-H. That was a bar. But that first part, I don't even know what he meant by like band leader is Pangea. Like my stance here is a band leader is Pangea. That part I definitely didn't get right here. Someone explain that one to me. A race heroes, I stand, Liga, Remini, Heathel, King of Queens, my balls breathe, LeBron's key. I carry mm. greatness, statements on spaceship, Haitians get <laughs> My balls breathe, I'm like LeBron's Kia. I carry greatness. LeBron drives around in the Kia carrying him to, he's the greatest, I carry greatness. My balls are like, oh my God, dog, that fucking wordplay. LeBron's Kia, I carry greatness, statements on spaceship, Haitians get lacing. Meaning you dread what comes from my third eye blind to the fake shit. Wow. My tone is He said Haitians. I don't know if he means Haitians get laced or did he say Haitians get LASIK? Because that makes more sense whenever you pair it with the third eye blind to the fake shit. Like LASIK fixes blindness or LASIK fixes it corrects vision. He said Haitians get LASIK, which means that you dread what comes from my third eye. Like Haitians have dreads, like the hairstyle, but also you dread, like you loathe, you're, you're fearful of what's to come. You dread what comes from my third eye blind to the fake shit. Oh my God, that bar. Yo, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a long ass video. You dread what comes from my third eye blind to the fake shit. Wow. My tone is getting aggressive. I just create for the truly gifted of adolescence. My essence mm. becomes a mystery. I instantly become a pistol peed in a sport full of more phrases. My Kelsey grammar is something like throw with a hammer. Like oh my God. Just blazing to the camera to table. Both hands on the candle, can't handle it. My channel too hot to cancel. My baby driving a man, so I'm passing your my brain can't keep up. Like every time that I'm deciphering a bar, he's already on the next fucking bar. You know what this is like right now? This is like whenever you play Simon, like the Simon Says game and you gotta keep order of like the four different colors. This is like we're fucking level 30 into it. Like I gotta keep order of all this bullshit and try to decipher and try to hear the next line in order to like decode that one all at the same time. We're gonna have to hear that whole shit back because I just create for the truly gifted of adolescence. My essence becomes a mystery. I instantly become a pistol peed in a sport full of more phrases. My Kelsey grammar is something like throw with a hammer like I Okay, see, this is where I started. I didn't get lost, but this is where I started to like, oh shit, how am I gonna fucking break this whole thing down? He said, I instantly become a pistol Pete in a game full of Walt Frazier's, like the like the two like the two ball players. But then he goes and switches it and says, my Kelsey Grammar is something to like Thor with a hammer, like it's unstoppable. But Kelsey Grammar was one of the was one of the actors, the main actors in Frazier. He was Frazier, and then we just came off the bar about Walt Frazier and Pistol Pete. Yo, just the connecting all throughout the entire fucking verse. I fucking can't with it right now. We got instantly become a pistol feed in a sport for the ball phrases. My Kelsey grammar is something like throw with a hammer like Alfred Hitchcock with a camera just blazing to the camera to table. Both hands on the candle can't handle it. Oh my god, both hands on the candle, you can't handle it. But then he came in with the fast spit right there to basically say how he's the fucking greatest, how he's a monster with this shit. Something like Kelsey Grammer and Frasier, which Frasier is one of the most underrated shows of all time. Like Alvarez Hitchcock with a camera, another one of the fucking greatest directors of all time. And then he said, just blazing killer cam with a sample, like just blaze, like the producer just blaze, who is known to do a lot of sampling in his very grand type of grand type of production that he has, it's very big. And then Cameron, like Killer Cam, would go ham on those beats. Just all the different levels of saying that he's the greatest. That shit is fucking crazy, bro. Hammer like Alfred Hitchcock with a camera just blazing. Killer Cam with a sample. Both hands on the candle. Can't handle it. My channel too hot to cancel. My baby's driving a man. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Did he say special beam cannon like fucking Dragon Ball Z? Is that what was on top of his voice as he was going ham? Show. Blazing. Killer Cam with a sample. Both hands on the candle. Can't handle it. Like a passenger riding stanzas, I'm holding these verses for ransom. Oh my God. And then he said, my baby's driving because he's in passenger because he's holding the verse for ransom. And then it's like Bonnie and Clyde, me and my girl, like we, we taking, and she's my baby girl. She's the driver, like Ansel, like Baby Driver, the movie, which is a fantastic ass movie, by the way. If you've never seen Baby Driver, Get on that shit. But that was a fucking bar. I'm too hot to cancel. My baby's driving a man. So I'm passing your right and stands as I'm holding these verses. Ransom, I'm Hansel. Zoolander, handsome. Swami supply the face slip. <laughs> he said, he said, I'm um, um, Zoolander, handsome. <laughs> 
for some reason, every time I go to pump gas and I and I think about the scene where they're like playing with the fire and then the dude lights the match in, in Zoolander and then everybody blows up. Yo, fucking stupid ass movie. But yo, that verse fucking went in, son. Like that shit was fu- Oof. That might have been one of the hardest verses I've heard all year right there. Just non-stop with the fucking rhyme schemes, non-stop with the wordplay, non-stop with the double entendres, triple entendres, fucking Walt Frazier, fucking Frazier the show. All the different things about like about the things that are on TV, all of the different references to TV to TV characters. We got Dragon Ball Z, we got Frasier, we got or it's not TV, but it's a movie. We got Baby Driver, then we got King of Queens. Like yo, that shit was fire. <laughs> oh man, I thought it was about to go on that fucking soulful ass beat. That would have been fire. <laughs> It's all because of Jesus. Well done. Welcome to Glory Sound Prep. I'm loving it all here with my brother-in-law. Greece is a beautiful place. Food is incredible. All oh, we just been. Mm, 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 mm. This beat. Chef's kiss on this fucking beat right here. God damn. This is like some this is some deep cut on Drake's album type of beat right here. That soulful ass sample on top with that really simple bass line and simple drum patterns. Yo, shit's clean. Alright, let's listen to the words now. <laughs> Well done. Welcome to Glory Sound Prep. I'm loving it all here with my brother-in-law. Greece is a beautiful place. Food is incredible. All oh, we just been playing some games. Everyone's picking a straw. Who gets the longest has gotta go tell the butler to call. Oh my god, just the visuals that he's giving you in that first four bars, eight bars. The storytelling capability. Yeah. Anybody who knows me, if you've been on this channel long enough, storytelling is like my favorite type of skill that rappers have. Bars are cool. Bars are all, you know, everybody that's all cool and all that. Sometimes you got to show off the heat like that. But storytelling is like makes songs iconic, makes rappers iconic. Andre 3000, who has never had a single solo album out ever, is one of the greatest rappers of all time because of the way that he can storytell. Go tell the butler to call. call, call, call. <laughs> For more alcohol, wait, we told the locals that we go and play basketball, but they don't want the business. Plus, I drank from the flask, we bought, now everything is spinning, and we laugh it off. <laughs> Ooh, it's Whoopi Goldberg, the way that my sisters act up. Uh, they had some uh, champagne, now everybody's laughing, movies about... Uh, 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 he said it's Whoopi Goldberg, the way that my sisters act up. Oh my god. Whoopi Goldberg is the actress, the main character. She plays the main character in the movie's Sister Act, which is such like a it's such a good 90s type of comedy. <laughs> sister Act is dope. That was a bar. That, that was a bar. It's Whoopi Goldberg, the way that my sisters act up. <laughs> That's fucking tight. Ooh, it's Whoopi Goldberg, the way that my sisters act up. Uh, they had some champagne. Now everybody's laughing. Movies about paradise and my family got the cast thing. Thing, thing. Movies, my paradise, and my family got the casting. <laughs> Yo, this shit is fucking fire. Laughing, movies about paradise, and my family got the casting. If you dove into the tears of my eyes, you hear this instrumental. Jesus was uh, instrumental uh, in blessing my mental. Every uh, time <laughs> Yo. I know I'm pausing it like a fuckload, but it's not my fault. Blame him for putting all the fucking fire ass bars in there. He said, if you dove into the tears of my eyes, you'd hear this instrumental. Jesus was instrumental in building my mental. Like you can hear my pain through these through these verses. You can hear my pain on this beat. Like if you dove into the tears of my eyes, this is what you would hear. Oh, this motherfucker right here, son. You dove into the tears of my eyes, you hear this instrumental. Jesus was instrumental in blessing my mental. Every time I drove a car, could have twisted the metal, 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 metal. Yeah. True as fuck. Every time that I drove a car, I could have twisted the metal. I could have gotten in a serious fucking collision and died. So Jesus is the one that keeps me, that keeps me safe. Yeah. All the things on my wish list, God has given in triplets. Uh, I'm mm. on an island where opiates go to rich kids. And then they pass away. That's called death over the privilege. Yeah. I live in neighborhoods. I live in a place where opioids go to the rich kids and then they die from opioid abuse or they die of literally overdose. And that's death over the privilege. Like, yo, the white kids are more privileged than he is, but they're the ones dying from the opioids. Oh my God, this guy, bro. And is this is this him or is this Tuami? I don't even know who's who, but they're both spitting fucking fire. So it really doesn't matter at this point. And then the way the beat dropped out right there when he, when he like put down that very heavy, that was a very heavy bar. Probably the heaviest one of the songs 
song so far and they cut out the instrumental for a second and then they brought it back in it's good production this god is giving it triplets right here. i'm on an island where opiates go to rich kids and then they pass away that's called death over the privilege yeah I never want to be famous. Stop calling me underrated. I'm still pushing the same whip. I was driving the safe jam. Oh, peace. Oh, whoa, hold up, hold up, hold up. What did he say about being famous? Oh, death over the privilege. Yeah. I never want to be famous. Stop calling me underrated. I'm still pushing the same whip. I was. I never wanted to be famous. Stop calling me underrated. Yeah. Like you say, people are underrated when they don't have the level of success that you think that they should. But he said, stop calling me underrated. I never wanted to make it that big to the point where I could be underrated. I'm rated exactly where I need to be. My talent is above par from where I'm at. But that doesn't mean I want to take it to the point where my talent can take me because I want to I want to stay sane in this game. And I know once you get too far, you can start to lose your grip. And he, like he said at the beginning, he can't lose his grip. It's too tight. I never want to be famous. Stop calling me underrated. I'm still pushing the same whip. I was driving the safe jam. Oh, peace in my life. It's also my salam. I'm making certain decisions. I'm flying under the radar. I really love my life. And this music thing is a great job. <laughs> I'm living the life that away the way that I want. I'm flying under the radar. That's dope. That's dope that you even have that mental capacity to be able to pass up on on like offers from record labels. It's dope that he stands on his own solid ground with his own set of morals and doesn't let money sway him because money would sway most. Yeah, pick up the phone and someone tells me, Mr. Billion, sir, Beyonce on the line. She's trying to reach you on your cellular. She wanted fall in line, but we gave it to Aguilera. Uh... I know Fall In Line, it was a song that had Christina Aguilera on it, but I don't know the relationship between him, the song, and Beyonce. Like, is that literal, what he's talking about? Like, she literally called and asked for that song that he wrote, but he gave it to Christina Aguilera? He gave it to Aguilera, uh... I hope it's the right decision, be wanted it for the twins she signed. I hope I didn't burn that bridge, I worry all the time. I'm just trying to show these kids about the slide of mine. Mm. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. All right, now that makes sense. All right, I should have just played the bar all the way through. It was literal. So he's like, I hope I didn't burn that bridge. And if I did, well, yikes, too bad. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Can't cry over spilled milk. I'm gonna show these kids about the slide of mine. I always flex, but I realize that it's divine appointment. I'm a cross mm. between hard work and Jesus anointed. I hope a sinner that needed grace is the final notion. Yo, just the, the fucking lyrical way of saying, instead of saying this is destiny, he says, I have a divine appointment. Like it's already, like the appointment's been set already where I'm trying to get to. But then you also have that saying that luck is basically just hard work and preparation meeting together. And that, and then that luck comes from that hard work and preparation. So he says, it's divine appointment and my hard work is Jesus anointed. Oh my God. Fucking clean. Hard work and Jesus anointed. I hope a sinner that needed grace is the final notion. For the rest of my life, you'll see me on the L I double R with a Heineken in my bag. On my way to the garden, trying to kill you nephews like I've been fucking with Scar. Me lying down on the job is not an option at all. First off, I don't know what the L I double R is, but he said trying to kill your nephews like I've been fucking with Scar. Lying down on the job is not an option. Yo, the most obvious one that comes up is obviously a Lion King reference. Trying to kill your nephews like I've been fucking with Scar, which was the brother of the, the main character in Lion King who let him fall into the pit of hyenas. Everybody knows that. And then the wordplay when he says lying down on the job is not an option. Like lion, like what Scar and Simba and all of them, they were lions. But lying, like L-Y-I-N-G, lying down. But then also the other meaning, like I, I'm, I'm on my way to kill your nephews like I've been fucking with Scar. That could also be wordplay for like Fortnite because a lot of fucking kids play Fortnite and Scar, the Scar 17 is one of the, is one of the, is one of the guns in the game. And then you're lying down like in prone when you're camping and you're sniping, like, no lying down on the job. Fucking with the scar. Oh my god. We're almost done, but this shit is fucking nuts. They kill you nephews like I've been fucking with scar. Me lying down on the job is not an option at all. Uh, on my way to the garden. Uh, uh, on my way to the. Uh, 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 on my way to the garden. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I did not know I was gonna have to put my fucking bar deciphering cap on that hard. I wasn't expecting these smooth ass fucking beats. I wasn't expecting the smooth ass fucking flow from both of them going in. I wasn't expecting that like cool suave voice. 
Yeah, that blew me out of the water. I, ca I can't say it enough. I was not expecting those kind of bars. That shit is fucking, oh my God, that shit was crazy. But yo, that ends today's video. That shit was intense. If you like what you see, please consider liking the video and leaving a comment down below. Really helps the channel, helps the algorithm push it out there to other people. If you like what you see enough, now that the video is over, consider subscribing because this in-depth breakdown, these bars that we get down into, that's how we do it around here on this channel. Follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter at the third earnest, just like the channel. Links are down in the description below. Hit up the Discord to today's Wednesday. I even think we got game night in the Discord tonight. But you wanna chat it up with me, you wanna chat it up with like-minded people who also like the channel and this type of music that we do here, hit up the Discord, that's the best place to do it. That's it for today's video, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate you spending this time. I know this video is gonna be long, probably somewhere in like the 20 to 25 minute mark, but I appreciate you spending your time here because I know you can watch your videos wherever, but you're doing it right here and that shit means the world. Like I always say at the end of all of my videos, go out there in the world, love and care for one another, love and care for each other, and I'll catch everybody on the next video. Peace.